Okay, Batman. Batman was directed by Tim Burton in uh, woo, in 1989. Wow, you guys gotta see this so much. 1989. Snow out here. Usually it doesn't snow in the desert. So. I was thinking about some holiday movies and Batman 19, 1989 and also Batman Returns they're both kind of got a Christmassy kind of vibe so, oh look there's some tracks right here see that those look like rabbit tracks so anyway um, so Batman, uh, Batman's one of my all-time favorite superhero movies because it was the first one that came out. It was by one of my favorite directors, Tim Burton. I love, love Tim Burton. One time I went on a trip to New York when I was in college and we went to all these design firms and ad agencies and everything. And I hated it all. And at the very end, we went to a museum exhibition at MoMA in New York and I saw a whole life's work of Tim Burton and all the costumes from Batman and sketches and paintings and everything since he was like a little kid and um, oh my gosh it blew me away and I just completely broke down started crying and like had, was so overwhelmed and I felt like oh my gosh this is what I want to do with my life <laughs> and um, so thank you Tim but anyway, Batman was an amazing movie. It was not greenlit until uh, Beetlejuice came out. And after Beetlejuice was a success, um, then, uh, look at this. Woo. Amazing. So after Beetlejuice was a success, him to do direct Batman and he wanted to bring in Michael Keaton again which was a big controversy at the time because at that time Michael Keaton was not an action star he was known for comedy weird roles like Beetlejuice stuff like that so that was the battle the budget was 35 million dollars it went up to 48 million dollars and um, you know, the budget got bigger. Jack Nicholson came in. He got a large percentage. I think he got some crazy amount of money. Like, I don't know the exact number. It was like 30 million or 60 million or something. His agent got him some deal where he got a really big percentage at the back end of the movie. So I think still to this day, that's one of the highest paying uh, movie roles for an actor. <laughs> this is in 1989. And, um, so, yeah, you know, Tim Burton is, he really is special. He's really got an amazing imagination. He's very unique. He's original. Nobody's stuff looks like his stuff. And, um, yeah, when the movie came out, the trailer was really cool. I remember um, they were saying at the time that people were so excited about this movie that they would go to the theater and pay money for a different movie just so they can watch the trailer <laughs> and then when the, when the real movie starts they would just walk out because they didn't care and um, you know um, the thing I really like about Tim Burton is he's got this very dark kind of gothic style very warm heart like Edward Scissorhands is a good example of that Batman's a good example of that all of his movies you know uh, Nightmare Before Christmas even though he only produced that he didn't direct it um, and I really love that about him I think I have a similar vibe in that way Woo! this is gorgeous my office.
office because it's where I come when I have meetings on the phone with people or I make uh, you know, little review, film, film reviews and stuff. So what else? Batman um, had great cinematography, great acting, great fighting scenes, really cool production design. The opening title sequence is really amazing. He always does this cool opening title sequence where it's kind of zoomed in on something and it's actually a bat, a bat symbol. And that amazing score by Danny Elfman. Wow. I love Danny Elfman's music. And all the Tim Burton's films that were such a bad bad man. Um, the list goes on. But those two guys have an interesting relationship. I think they had some. I'm not sure if it was Batman Returns or first Batman, but they had some off and on relationship time, <laughs> or working relationship, you know. So it's always interesting to see how that happens, but anyway, the movie made like over 40, 400 million dollars back in that time in 1989, so, um, you know, that's really amazing. Um, up he said that Tim Burton was like hiding in like the corner of the coffee shop and he had this crazy black hair that was going everywhere and sunglasses and he was like sketching in a sketchbook and he's an amazing artist he used to work for Disney and uh, I heard a story at the time when he was working for Disney that he was so stressed out there and he was so unhappy like he was the managers came in and he was hiding under his desk and he was like crying under his desk because he hated working there so much. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, I can relate to that. I never cried under a desk, but I've, I have worked in advertising in some big companies that I did not enjoy being at. So, yeah, anyway, if you get a chance to see it again, I highly recommend it. One of my favorite directors. Still my favorite superhero movie of all time and I love Batman Returns oh man so good so so good and I'll probably review that film in a different video but uh yeah send me um I would love to hear some comments what are some of your favorite scenes in the movie just put them in the comments below and um <laughs> one that comes to mind is when he fights that ninja guy yeah 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 and he has those weapons and he just kind of like goes doo 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 boom takes them out so easily the batmobile there's a lot of cool special effects in there too the batmobile and the shields when it comes on just excellent excellent movie check it out batman good job tim i love your your films and i look forward to seeing some more all right guys have a nice day see you next time